Hi students, today we will deal about superposition theorem. Superposition theorem states that in any linear network containing two or more sources, the response in any element is equal to the algebraic sum of the responses caused by individual sources acting alone, while the other sources are non-operative. So, that is while considering the effect of individual sources, other ideal voltage sources and ideal current sources in the network are replaced by short circuit and open circuit across their terminals. And this theorem is valid only for linear systems. See, in the case of superposition theorem, that states that it is applicable to linear networks and uh, sometimes the circuits may contain one or more sources that may contain voltage sources and that may contain current sources and actually if we are asked to find out the current through a particular branch then actually we are considering a single source and we will neglect the effect of the other source and then we will consider the other source and neglect the effect of the first source and we will add up the all the responses due to each and each sources and the algebraic sum of the responses caused by the individual sources will give the result okay so that is superposition theorem and you will get the idea clearly once you do a problem okay so again i am saying the superposition theorem principle as it in any linear contain linear network containing two or more sources the response in any element is equal to the algebraic sum of the responses caused by individual sources acting alone while the other sources are non operative and first of all let us do a problem find the current passing through the 3 ohm resistor using superposition theorem verify the result using nodal analysis and here the circuit is given and it contains a voltage source 20 volt and 5 ohm resistance 3 ohm resistance 10 ohm resistance and again a 5 ampere current source and here two sources are there one is voltage source and other is the current source 5 ampere current source and here you are asked to find out the current passing through the 3 ohm resistance so 3 ohm resistance is there and you can use the superposition theorem so first of all you have to consider the effect of voltage source alone that is 20 volt alone that means the current source effect is not considered that means in the case of superposition theorem voltage source are replay once if you are considering the current source effect then we will replace the voltage source by short circuit and if we are considering the effect of voltage source alone then we will open circuit the current source that is the rule so here we are considering the effect of voltage source alone that is 20 volt battery will be there but 5 ampere current source will be replaced with open circuit so the circuit diagram will look like this so 20 volt battery is there 5 ohm resistance is there 3 ohm resistance is there and 10 ohm resistance is there then but the current source is replaced by an open circuit okay so you are asked to find out the current through the 3 ohm resistance so you can assume let the current i to be passing through that loop so you can see that the other side of the 3 ohm is an open circuit so no current will be flowing through that so you can consider that 5 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in series and it is connected to a 20 volt battery so you can simply apply ohms law in order to find the current through the 3 ohm resistance current will pass from upper point of 3 ohm to lower side okay so this is the circuit diagram and you can find the current through the 3 ohm resistance i2 by simply applying the ohms law so you will get 20 divided by 8 will be the current through the 3 ohm resistance that will be equal to 2.5 ampere so the current duration is from upper side to lower side next this is the first section that is we are considering the effect of only the voltage source and now we can consider the effect of current source for doing that we are considering the current source 5 ampere alone and we will short circuit the voltage source that is 20 volt battery will not be there it will be replaced by a short circuit so the circuit diagram will look like this so 5 ampere is connected to 10 ohm and 3 ohm and 5 ohm is then connected in, in parallel with the 3 ohm so voltage source will, will not be there that is by the superposition principle okay so we want to find out the current through the 3 ohm resistance okay see here you can see there are two loops okay 
you can see that 3 ohm and 5 ohm are parallel and you want to find out the current through the 3 ohm resistance and here the current source is given so you can simply apply current divider rule in order to find out the current through the 3 ohm resistance so by current divider rule the current di through the 3 ohm resistance will be equal to total current into other branch resistance divided by total resistance in the parallel branches that is the current divider rule so let i5 be the current through the 3 ohm resistance then we can say that i5 will be equal to 5 ampere into 5 ohm divided by 5 plus 3 ohm that is equal to 25 by 80 that will be equal to 3.125 ampere so the current will flow from upper side of the 3 ohm to lower side okay 3.125 ampere so you can now you can find out you you find, find out the values of current through the 3 ohm resistance by the effect of 20 volt battery and also by the effect of 5 ampere source so by superposition theorem the net current will be the sum of these two currents okay so the total current passing through the 3 ohm resistor is equal to i total equal to i2 plus i5 that is equal to 2.5 plus 3.125 that will be equal to 5.625 ampere so that is the current through the 3 ohm resistance by the superposition principle but you are again asked to find the, the to verify the result using the nodal analysis that is also asked in the question so you have to verify this result whether this current is correct or not by nodal analysis so you can apply nodal equations here you can see this is the question um, circuit diagram in the question and here there is two nodes one is reference node and other is node a you we can mark it like this c uh, so let us verify the above result by applying the nodal analysis here the node is marked as v and the different branches connected to the node are 5 ohm 10 ohm 3 ohm and uh, to the 5 ohm resistance 20 volt battery is connected and uh, to the um, 10 ohm resistance 5 ampere source is connected and the reference node is marked as ground okay so if we are applying um, nodal analysis we have to first mark the node and the node voltage is v and the, we can mark the branch currents that the, all the branch currents are going um, outside except the current from the current source okay so we can mark i1 flowing outside and i is also flowing outside and 5 ampere is going into the node v and by nodal analysis we can uh, say that we can apply kirchhoff's current law so we will get i1 plus i will be equal to 5 ampere so the all the sum of the currents leaving the node will be equal to currents coming to the node okay so this is the same diagram and by applying acl we can see that i1 plus i will be equal to 5 ampere and i1 will be equal to that is the current flowing through the 5 ohm that will be equal to v minus 20 divided by 5 plus i will be equal to v divided by 3 that is equal to 5 so we can find out the value of v so we will get a v value will be equal to 16.875 volt so the node voltage v will be equal to 16.875 voltage and but we want to find out the current through 3 ohm resistor so the current passing through the 3 ohm resistor will be equal to v divided by 3 where v is equal to 16.875 we can substitute the value of v and we can find out i will be equal to 5.625 ampere so by nodal analysis we got the value of the current through 3 ohm is 5.625 ampere and by the super position principle we got the value as 5.625 ampere that means both the currents are equal so we verified the result of superposition theorem by the nodal analysis so the superposition theorem is verified so that is the result okay let us do next problem find the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor by using the superposition principle so here you want to find out the current through the branch 2 ohm resistance which is connected between the points a and b and that is by using superposition principle here also you can find that there are three sources one is 10 volt source other is 20 volt source and other is 2 ampere current source so you have to consider the effect of each and every sources okay first you consider the effect of 10 volt battery then you can consider the effect of 20 volt battery then you can consider the effect of 2 ampere source okay if we are considering the effect of one source other sources will be either open circuit or closed circuit that is based on the voltage source mm, or current source if we are uh, if the sources are voltage source then we will replace it with short circuit if the source is current source then we will replace it with open circuit okay let us start doing the problem first of all in the first step we are considering the effect of 10 volt battery alone 
so the other sources will be replaced so the circuit diagram will look like this okay 10 volt battery is there 10 ohm resistance is there 20 ohm resistance is there you can see the previous diagram 2 ampere source is there so current sources is replaced by open circuit so that branch will not be there because when once it is open circuited there will not be any other current flow so that branch will be removed here so you can see that branch is not drawn here and again there is a voltage source 20 volt it will be replaced by short circuit so that 5 ohm will be there so you can see that the circuit diagram will look like this okay next you want to find out the current through the 2 ohm resistance that is your interest okay so see the diagram it is a simple resistance circuit you can find that there is a 10 volt battery and we can do the nodal analysis in order to find out the value of the current through 2 ampere okay see here the nodes are marked here the one node is a and other is the reference node which is connected to ground potential so the nodal diagram at a is given the nodal diagram at a shows that 10 ohm resistance is connected 20 ohm resistance is connected 2 ohm resistance and 5 ohm resistance are also connected and the 10 volt battery is in series with the 10 ohm resistance and we can mark the node voltage as v and we can also mark the currents that all currents are leaving the junction except the current source here there is no current source so all the currents i1 i2 and i3 will be leaving the node so at node a we can write the nodal equations that that is i1 plus i2 plus i3 will be equal to 0 and here i1 is v minus let v be the voltage at that node v minus 10 by 10 that is i1 and i2 will be v by 20 and i3 will be v by 2 plus 5 that is equal to v by 7 so the KCL equation can be written as V minus 10 by 10 plus V by 20 plus V by 7 equal to 0. Here there is, there is only one unknown quantity that is V. We can solve for V. So we will get the V equal to 3.41. So we got the value of voltage at the node V at which is equal to 3.41 ohm. Then we can find easily the value of the value of voltage across the 2 ohm resistance by the voltage divider rule you can see that I have redrawn the the branch 2 ohm combination of the branch containing 2 ohm resistance and 5 ohm you can see at the starting point of 2 ohm there will be voltage 3.41 so that will be divided into 2, 2 ohm and 5 ohm so its value can be found out by the voltage divider rule that is equal to voltage across 2 ohm will be equal to total voltage 3.41 into branch resistance 2 ohm divided by total resistance 2 plus 5 so that voltage will be equal to 0.97 volt okay so 0.97 volt is the voltage value across the 2 ohm resistance but you want to find out what you, what you are asked is voltage find the voltage across 2 ohm resistance using the superposition theorem so you got the value of 2 ohm resistance voltage across 2 ohm resistance as a 0.97 volt and that is by the effect of 10 volt battery alone okay so in the next case you want to find out the voltage value due to the 20 volt battery so you should remember this value i, I am marking it as first equation for 97 volt and next we will consider the effect of 20 volt battery so once we are considering the 20 volt battery alone we can see that the current source will not be there because it will be open circuited so that branch will not be there and uh, 10 volt battery um, uh, will not be there it will be replaced by a short circuit so the circuit diagram will look like this you can compare it with the first diagram that is given in the question that is you can see this is the question if we are considering the effect of 20 volt battery alone you can see that 2 ampere will be open circuited so that branch containing 3 ohm and 2 ampere will not be there so there will not be such branch again if you are considering uh, in the case of 10 volt battery it is also will not be there it will not be there because it will be replaced with a short circuit so 10 ohm will be there okay so we can draw the circuit diagram without 10 volt battery and 2 ampere current source as like this see this is a circuit diagram okay so now we are considering the effect of 20 volt battery alone and here again you can apply nodal analysis in order to get the current in order to get the voltage across the 2 ohm 
first of all you can mark the node voltage as V and uh, here the currents are marked as I1, I2, I3 mm, and all the currents we are assuming that all the currents are leaving so that uh, I1 plus I2 plus I3 will be equal to 0 we are applying the KCL rule so we can substitute for I1, I2 and I3 as I1 will be equal to V by 10, I2 will be equal to V by 20, I3 will be equal to V minus 20 divided by 2 plus 5, right? Nodal equation again, I will tell you the first module. That is the first two branches. Okay, so this is the first two branches. The third branch is the first two branches. The third branch is the first two branches. The two ohm and five ohm, V and the other. Node voltage ini, 20 volt dan dalam voltage ini medal anda kandang tiada diri kena. Aduh, mana? Differential voltage anda itu, aduh, mana? Nama kita itu V minus 20 anda beti diri kena. Divided by total resistance will be 7. So this is the node equation. In that there is only one one unknown, that is V is the unknown. So we can rearrange the equation and find out the value of V as V will be equal to 2.86 divided by 0.293, that is equal to 9.76 volt. I am not explaining step by step all the steps. Yeah, because uh, those are our simple mathematics you can uh, do it yourself okay so that we got the value as of V as 9.76 volt so the voltage across a 2 ohm resistance can be find out from the figure see this is the V value that is node voltage value we got it next we want to find out the voltage across 2 ohm resistance that is that is what we needed so the voltage across 2, uh, two, um, uh, two ohm can be find out by taking that branch containing 2 ohm and 5 ohm. We know that 2 ohms 1 end is connected to node V and its voltage is equal to 9.76 volt uh, and the other end is connected to 5 ohm and 5 ohm is again connected to 20 volt. So the voltage across 2 ohm will be equal to you can see I have redrawn the diagram as a 2 ohm 5 ohm is in series with 20 volt mm, battery also 9.76 volt will be mm, there at one node and the voltage uh, across the 2 ohm resistance can be find out by the voltage divider rule here, here by voltage divider rule we can mm, uh, write as a voltage across 2 ohm will be the differential voltage that is V minus 20 volt that is 9.76 minus 20 into 2 divided by 2 plus 5 that is by voltage divider rule see 2 ohm 5 ohm series side and connected to the voltage value 9.76 and node voltage but 9.76 in effect the matter will end up and 20 volt and the branch will connect to the differential voltage in the middle of the number that only 9.76 minus 20 volt there you come in effect that the branch will get the voltage in the way that voltage divider rule apply and the total voltage in you Branch resistance divided by total resistance and voltage divided by rule pragaar ule voltage in the varayana Appa 2 ohm in across ule voltage in the varayana differential voltage aya 9.76 minus 20 into 2 by 2 plus 5 I recom voltage across 2 volt 2 ohm that will be equal to minus 2.92 that means that means the voltage value is negative So Appa namal paranyo di rikkunna 20 volt battery in the effect aana varayana di 20 volt battery காரேனம் 2 ohm நேக்கிறோச் எத்திரா voltage கிட்டுந்தேன் நல்லதானி இ calculationல் கிட்டு அதத்திரையனு வேலி minus 2.92 volt ஆன் okay but minus 2.92 நல்லது நம்மல் நோட்டியதோக்கா இதிரு மும்பே நம்மல் எந்தான் கண்டு விடுத்து 10 volt battery இன்ன கொண்டில் இப்பக்டான் கண்டு விடுத்து அதின்ன வேலியு and second case इल्ले नमले 20 volt battery ने मात्रे 50 कंडोड़ी का माइंड है voltage value नो आ रहे ने दे current नो आ रहे ने ना outside of the node आने मार के इधर के ना ना voltage value नो आ रहे ने दे minus 2.92 आने next ये source आने लाये next source नो आ रहे ने दे ये 2 ampere source मात्रा ने next नो आ रहे ने दे अपन 2 ampere source का ना नमले consider जाएँ बो बाकीला सोर्स ने एफेक्ट चले नकल किया ना बाकीला सोर्स विड़ा इंदर डायर नो एक टेन वोल्ट सोर्स ने डायर नो विड़ा इंदर डायर नो एक ट्वेंटी वोल्ट सोर्स ने ना पर जिन्हें रंडिंग एफेक्ट चले नमले नकल किया दो आदाय द अदने शॉर्ट सर्किट वाले रिप्लेस दो क्या सर्किट डायग्राम उन्हें कंड ten volt will be replaced with a short circuit and twenty volt will be replaced with another short circuit so those two sources will not be there in the circuit diagram so we can draw the circuit 
like this. See, this is a circuit diagram. You can see here. And next, we want to find out the voltage across 2 ohm resistance due to 2 ampere current source. See, you can see that here. 10 ohm and 20 ohm are connected in parallel. So, we can replace it with a single resistance. And its value will be 10, 10 and 20 are parallel. So, its calculation is given in the right side. That is 10 parallel 20 will give you the value 20 by 3. So, 20 by 3 resistance will be there. And the 2 ohm resistance will be there. And again 5 ohm. And uh, 3 ohm is connected in series with 2 ampere. It is just to re we are rearranging the connections. And uh, we will get a circuit diagram like this. And I am actually rearranging this for the um, simplicity of calculation. Okay. So, we got a circuit diagram like this. Next, we want to find out the voltage across 2, um, two ohm. We can find that uh, this is a, we can find that this is a parallel circuit. Uh, and in the C, this is the circuit. Uh, in this case, you know that here the current source is given as 2 ampere. So, you can easily find out the current through the 2, ampere, 2 ohm resistance because by applying current divider rule. See, here 2 ampere current source is there, 2 parallel branches is there. So, you can find the current through the 2 ohm resistance will be equal to I2 ohm will be equal to 2 ampere into 5 ohm divided by 2 plus 2 by 20 plus 5 ohm. See, current divider rule in Karile. Total current into other branch resistance divided by total resistance in the parallel branches. That is current divider rule. R divider rule which is 2 ohm is 2 ohm current current 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 is 2 ohm is 2 ohm current is 2 ohm current current is 2 ohm current direction First voltage is sorry. First voltage is 0.97 volt. That is equation number one. And the next voltage is V2 is equal to minus 2.92 volt. That is equation number two. That are end voltage current flow in the direction line. Left in the right leg and two ohm and flow chain. And the next case is Current source in effect are in all of 2 ohm in across the voltage in the 1.46 volt. That is equation number 3. That is the flow in the current in the B and the point in the A lake. That is the right in the left lake. This is the one in the A in the B lake. This is the B in the A lake. The the superposition theorem is 2 ohm in the across the voltage in the sum of all the voltages. The voltage in the polarity in the minus. First and second one direction is 1 plus 2 in the third one is B2A current flow. That is minus 3. Okay? That is the superposition theorem. The superposition theorem is the algebraic sum of voltages will be the total voltage. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3. But you have to consider current flow in the direction of the current flow. Current is in the two cases. That is the case of Current flow is in the A and the point in the B and the point the You can see the current directions. Nodal analysis supply is current direction in the A and B. But the third case is the current source and effect is the current flow in the B and the B in the A. That is the one that is 1 plus 2 minus 3. So, 0.97 volt plus minus 2.92 minus 1.46. So, voltage across 2 ohm resistance will be equal to minus 3.41 volt. That means negative sign indicates that the voltage at V is negative. Okay. This is all about uh, this section. Actually, this problem shows that uh, these all, um, all are concerned with the DC circuits. Okay. The applied voltage source is DC volt. In all these cases, applied voltage is DC source. So, superposition, we discussed about the superposition principle. Once we are using the DC voltage source, next section, we will discuss about the um, superposition theorem in the case of AC voltage source. Okay. 
so that's all about this topic um, and uh, you should do the problems then only you will get the idea nammal eppalum problem cheyumbo idinu munbe use cheyina theorems um munbe use cheyida circuit reduction techniques okke use cheyina adond mesh analysis ayalum nodal analysis ayalum ohms law kirchhoff's law idokke nammal seri karinjirikana ennal mathra namaku problem cheyan kariyullu appo ningal adine pettiyokke tarava irikku okay സൂപ്പർപോഷൻ തിയറത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ അധികം സോൾവ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നോഡൽ അനാലിസ് ആണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഓംസ്ലോ സിമ്പിൾ ഓംസ്ലോ ആണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അത് നിങ്ങൾ എപ്പോഴും ഓർത്ത് വെക്കുക സൂപ്പർപോഷൻ്റെ അകത്ത് കറണ്ട് ഒരു ബ്രാഞ്ചിലൂടെ തന്നെയുള്ള കറണ്ട് നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കേണ്ടി വരും അപ്പോഴൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ അധികം നോഡൽ അനാലിസ് ആണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ ചെയ്ത പ്രോബ്ലത്തിൽ നോഡൽ അനാലിസിസ് ആണ് നമ്മൾ യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് ഓക്കെ പിന്നെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഓംസ്ലോ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുക അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെയാണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ആ ഒരു പോയിൻറ്റ് മനസ്സിൽ ഓർത്ത